You're watching WDEF News 12 this morning with Rachel S. Meteorologist Brian Smith and your time saver traffic tracker with Sunny 92.3's James Howard. Good morning and thanks for joining us here at WDEF News 12 this morning. A local two-time breast cancer survivor is performing a one-woman stage production called Fighting for the Title. Here with the details is the author Dolores Burgess. She is also the actress in this as well. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. This is pretty much something you, you wrote and you're now going to, to produce for us and we're going to get to see and this is really your life story kind yes, of. Yes, yes, yes. It's my life story but it represents a lot of women, a lot of women who have actually had the experience of breast cancer and those that have not. And, and tell us a little bit about the show. What's going to happen, the journey while we're there? Ooh, I don't know if I want to tell everything, but <laughs> it is a musical. Let me just say that okay. I am a gospel recording artist and uh, I'm also a performer. So th it's a musical from beginning to end. Um, really talking about the experience of having faith, determination, being able to get through whatever it is that may come our way. Champion just being a champion for your own life. So this is and uplifting for folks when oh, you leave. Oh yeah, it's not just about breast cancer. It's not a it's not a heavy show or anything like that. It's very entertaining. It's for the family. It's for men. So I don't want everyone to think that only women should come to the show. It's for everybody. It's for kids. My kids are represented. My husband, my mom, my grandma. I mean, playing all of these characters. Really, these are the people that impacted my life throughout, of course. And then, of course, they were people that were there and very influential during the during the time that I was experiencing breast cancer as well. So. And we all know someone, mm. you know, a friend or a grandmother or a mother or even, yeah. uh, even lots of males get breast exactly, cancer. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I say it's for everyone. And then people can get an idea about how to be of a support. You know, that's one of the hardest things when yeah, a family member... What do you say? What do you do? Exactly. And so there's, there's a few things that I think we can give them to take away to understand that and to know how to manage or to be there for a person, to be a comforter, you know, to be a, a support system for them, whether they are an adult or a child. And, of course, we want to tell everybody you can see this tomorrow night. Yes. Yes, exactly. We're going to be at Chattanooga State Technical College uh, out on Amnicola Highway. I'm sure most of Chattanoogans yes. know where that is. 7.30 p.m. Tickets are only $15, so we're excited about that because this really, the money's going to go back to be able to help black women beating breast cancer go back into to the community and help women who may not ordinarily get this type of information in the way that we're actually giving it. So it makes a big difference, I think, to see the journey played out so that you have an example, you have something that resonates with you should later you encounter it or if you know yes. someone who's encountering it. And of course, and we, like you said, the money going to a good cause, so you don't mind that at all. Not at all, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and you've right already thing. done this out in L.A., right? Yeah, exactly. I actually developed it in L.A. I wrote it there. We rolled it out there. And it was really fun, you know, being in that atmosphere. There's a theater on just about every corner, <laughs> probably multiple theaters on, on one block, basically. But it was really, um, I think, a very heartwarming ex experience for me because it was part of my life dream sure. to, to do some acting and, and that kind of thing. I've always, you know, took the stage to sing, but to do the acting, I think, was a really, really uh, big, I don't know, it, it was just a flush of energy to be able to do this. And now we actually have a production that's very purposeful, it's very entertaining, it's uplifting, it's encouraging. Yeah, there's a little roller coaster that takes place. You know, we, we go through the whole journey, but at the same time, it is a celebration. Let's put the information on the screen for you now. Fighting for the title coming up Saturday, tomorrow, September 25th, 7.30 p.m. at Chattanooga State Technical Community College. FightingForTheTitle.com is where you can go online or you can call 902-1330 for more information. You can also pick up tickets at Mary's Lounge and Londa's Hair Salon as well. Or just go to the website for more information, FightingForTheTitle.com. And there is a look right there at the live website for you. And you get a little bit of sneak peek of Dolores' performance right there as well. And you can find out more about her. So go to the website. Thanks for joining us. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Stay with us. We're going to take a short break. We'll be back. This is WDEF News 12 this morning.